Hello you, welcome back to London Vegas on YouTube. Hello there. Now, um, we're gonna talk serious in a minute because we're gonna talk about something that's just happened this mm. week, literally, which is really good news for next year. But first, before we do that, I'm gonna show you something which I know you will love. I've been itching to show you this. Itching. Jeremy bought me a present for my birthday. I keep yeah, looking not, in the room. Not that kind of I still itching. haven't bought you a birthday <laughs> present. I'm so shit. I haven't forgotten. I haven't bought him a birthday present. <laughs> Look at this. Have you seen these before? Now, it's a bit oh, grubby. It's a sprouter. Need to wash. It is a sprouter. I love sprouters. Because I know you love sprouts. I do and love sprouts. I'm really obsessed by sprouts yeah. at the moment. Um, They're amazing. Uh, Jeremy bought me this and the little packet of um, sprout oh. seeds that you plant. They are so easy, literally, you put this in, you fill it with water, well, you put the seeds in, you fill it with water, it's a bit grubby, so it needs a wash. You leave it, you leave it to drain, on and this. on this, so it catches all the all the water that's coming out of the jar. You mustn't put it in sunlight, so you put it in a kind of dimly lit room, like the kitchen, away from the window. You just keep filling it up with water just to wash it through. And so you don't need day. muslin or anything? No, no, like you don't you need anything, just water, that's all you need. Yeah. Morning and night, so you do it first thing in the morning, and you rinse it off and you drain it and then you do it in the evening and you rinse it off and drain it. And I had a massive jar of radish sprouts. Oh, how good are they? You and they, they were so You just so want to shove good. them down your I know, they're so tasty. And it's broken now. <laughs> there we go, my present is ruined. I oh, know, that looks amazing. Well. So you need to get one of I these. I do need because so I love sprouts. This one is made by Geo, I think. Hello, Geo. I would so. like one. <laughs> I do love sprouts. I can eat them like crisps. Yeah, and they're really good for you. And low calorie. Mm. Right, so um, what you need, it? I do. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, I like this T-shirt, by the way. Scary dairy. I got this at the festival, which you couldn't make. Yeah, but I went with Joel yeah. to Fever. Yeah, the Fever festival. That looks. Oh, look at that. How can anybody? Oh, I love the colours in that. It's yeah. rather purpley blue. It's a bit too bright for me. I got an anti carnis top on yeah. today. So, uh, Gucci. Gucci going for free. This massive news today. Um, mm. God, it's it's been a while, Gucci. Seriously. Uh, I think this is Getting such a good thing, though, because I think I'm hoping that other fashion labels and designers mm. will follow suit and they'll do the same thing and they'll get rid of all their all their uh, fur products because what they're doing is Gucci are going to be making a donation to animal charities, so they're going to basically with all the fur products that they've got and their range that is fur, they're gonna be auctioning them off. Yeah, I get that they're auctioning it off for animal charities, but it still means that someone's going to be work, walking around and proud to wear Gucci fur. And that to me is vile. Um, so it's continuing the It's still the continuing fashion. the fashion. But I mean, I really wanted to go to the surge protest um, at the London Fashion Week, but I was sick that weekend and couldn't do it. But, I, yes, of course, it's a really good thing. It's a, it's a really good thing. I mean, it's I, interesting you said that, actually. That's a good point, because I'm wondering if this, is, this decision has come from that protest. It could be. This has been a long time coming, but fur. I mean, I know meat eaters who won't wear fur. Won't wear fur. It's just archaic, isn't it, in it's every sense? It's so archaic. And There's so nothing beautiful about it at all. The only thing that's beautiful is the fur itself, which should belong to the animal. Yeah, and if, you, if people actually paid attention and looked at the conditions those animals are kept in, and you want to put that on your back, there is something wrong with you. I mean, obviously, I believe there's something wrong with you if you want to put it in your stomach as well. Well, but celebrities, I mean, so many celebrities wear fur, still do wear fur mm. to this day, which is just the most abhorrent thing. Rihanna, Lady Gaga, they've mm. all they've all done it. They've all worn, worn fur. I just yeah. can't understand but also now, the logic of it. I don't understand the logic. To me, fur and leather are the same yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, leather is exactly the same as fur. And it's like, Gucci will still continue to make leather products. Because fur is seen as the more abhorrent side of things to meat eaters yeah, yeah. and to vegetarians. So vegetarians will go, oh no, no, fur's disgusting, fur's disgusting. But still continue to wear leather, I, still continue to eat meat. I suppose a lot of people see leather as a byproduct. They don't see it as the priority. Yeah, like which is, is what I guess I is, did. Yeah. I was a terrible vegetarian. I was an appalling vegetarian. Well, you never know. Leather might be the next step. No, I, th I think this I'm is open. really encouraging because I think it could be uh, the way forward. Mm. I think they could eventually give up leather as well. I mean, I was watching, um, I'm, I'm kind of weirdly obsessed with Project Runway, and someone was going to use pleather, and they started saying, well, it just doesn't look as good, and I just, I was just screaming at the TV, it's a dead animal's skin. Mm. 
Of course it doesn't look as good because it's meant to be on the animal. It's skin. Well, you're really doing that to the TV screen, shouting. Do you shout? I, I get quite annoyed I, by I, things I, on TV. Yeah. <laughs> she does it to me as well. <laughs> Leave my skin alone. Ah. That's not real fur. No, it's definitely <laughs> it's not totally real It's totally synthetic. <laughs> You just headbutted my shoulder. <laughs> so comment below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Like and subscribe. And like and subscribe. By the way, we are going to go to festivals soon because we need yeah. to do that. I'm missing the Ipswich Vegan Festival this week, yeah, which we is my meant hometown. To be going to that. But I've spent You've the last two. I know, but I've been away. I've not been at home for four weekends in a row now. Oh, my cats. Excuses. No, my cats. <laughs> I know. Are seriously missing me. Yeah. I'm seriously missing my bed. <laughs> this is your cat. So. Ah. <laughs> Ipswich, I so wanted to come and see you because you are my hometown and I do love you dearly. But I'm pooped. I need a weekend at home. Don't know if I can do um, VegFest. We're hoping we will be at VegFest. I will be extraordinary. I'll be there. I'm <laughs> filming and directing a music video on the Saturday. Don't get all holier than thou. <laughs> 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 Stupid toy. <laughs>